I have put a download link for a material in the video description. Hey, I'm Tyrant from Germany, that's why I have this weird accent and in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create trees in Blender using the modular tree add-on. Okay, so I'm using Blender 2.8 for this tutorial and there's also a download link for the 2.8 version of the modular tree add-on in the video description. So you can just go ahead and download it there from the GitHub page. Okay, what we will first do is open another window and select from the drop-down menu the modular tree, no tree option. Well, first you have to install the add-on, after that this option will show up. Okay, we will then add another modular tree. We just press new here. Then with shift A we can add nodes because this plugin works with nodes. For a simple tree we need a trunk node, a branch node for the branches of course. And we can just connect it. If you want to have roots, you can just get a roots node and connect it too. But for this tutorial I won't use any roots. We will then need the tree parameters node. And uh, as you can see, it doesn't have any node input or node output options. Because you just have to click create tree. So as you can see, we now have the basic tree in our viewport and we can just click auto update tree and now play with the settings. Everything updates automatically. So just play around with the options. I won't explain everything because it is named very intuitive. So if you are happy with your form, with your shape of the tree, just add another node, which is the twig node to create leaves. It's also a very simple process, just hit execute and you can see the leaves. Just move them to the side and play around with the options until you're happy. When you are happy with the leaves, just go to your tree parameters nodes, check create leaves um, and in the leaf option here, the leaves are named trees. I don't know why, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Just select them and as you can see, your tree now has leaves. I still have auto update on, this is very good for adding the leaves because the steps are very simple and you don't want to have to update everything all the time. So I like to decrease the leaf count to a thousand and then up the leaf size, like so. Maybe this tree can have a bit more leaves, maybe around two thousand, I think that looks good and we can maybe play a little bit a little bit with a spread and now we have a nice tree okay so as you can see if I go into the rendered view the leaves and the little branches have textures but nothing else to import the textures for the bark just go into your modular tree panel and on the right side you see append materials. You can just append these and in the material sections you can select them. So for example oak, well some of these they don't work very well in Blender 2.8, I don't know why. So for example birch works but doesn't look that great and that's because this is still a preview version of the tree. To change to final we just have to change our output from preview to final and as you can see um, if, if you up the resolution a bit and click update tree you now have the final version which is completely unwrapped and the textures well the textures are not completely seamless but you can see them if you have your own textures you can of course use them just select the object go into the standard shader editor and you have your texture here so just import your own materials. I have put a download link for a material in the video description. This is a download link on our website. 
where you just have to create an account and then you can download the free material. I can now show you how it will look. Just import the different textures. Included are the AO map, the diffuse map, bark height and bark normal. The texture is, well, of course, called bark. To set up the nodes, we will need first a texture coordinate node, then a mapping node, and connect the UV into the vector here. And the vector comes into every vector input of the different textures. So I like to start with a normal map, just get a normal map node, plug um, the color output into the color input here, um, maybe decrease the strength a little bit and plug normal into normal. The diffuse map comes, well of course, into the base color and now we start to see our bark. And this texture is, by the way, seamless, so it will look good on every tree. To use uh, the AO map, just get a mix RGB node and plug it into here. And then change the blend mode to multiply and the AO map into the bottom and factor to 1. So now we do have an AO map. And if you want to use the height, I liked, um, well, of course, I like to use it because it just adds more depth. You will have to go to cycles um, and experimental. That way you can have the displacement set to displacement and bump. You could, of course, also use the displacement modifier. But I like to use this method because it just looks better to me. So just get a displacement node, plug the color output into the height and the displacement into the displacement. And now we do have displacement, which is way too strong. So we decrease the scale to maybe 0.1. And now we have some nice displacement. So this is how you can create a fairly simple tree in Blender. It's a very easy and fast process and I hope you like the tutorial. If you did, just um, maybe you could like and share it if you want and then until next time.